everyone, we are the group 4 and we are here to present the predicting performance using the applicant's ability. So in predicting the performance of the applicants, employers and HR professionals use ability tests. So in definition, ability test is an assessment tool used mostly by employers and HR personnels to evaluate and measure various skills of an applicant or job candidate such as problem-solving skills, communication skills, manual dexterity, and such. So in description, ability tests are used to measure the extent of which an individual can learn or can perform the job-related skills. So, ginagamit ng mga employers or HR personnel itong ability test na to to measure kung hanggang saan yung kaya i-perform or kung hanggang saan yung alam ng um, applicant or job candidate tungkol dun sa job na pinasukan niya. Mostly, ginagamit nila to kapag yung mga applicant or yung mga bagong hire nilang empleyado is parang bago pa lang dun sa trabaho na pinasukan nila. Mostly, kapag yung mga newly hired military personnel, newly hired police officers, and yung mga parang fresh graduate na palang sila sa fresh graduate palang and kaka parang first job nila ganun. Ginagamit mostly ng mga employers itong ability test. So why ability test is needed? It is an assessment tool used by recruiters and other HR professionals, and it is also used to test the candidates for the job. It's important because most of the employers are using this to evaluate not just the job candidates, but also the current employees nila so they can assess and measure their skills and abilities. Kung either magmamatch pa yun sa available position where they where they interviewed for. Also, ability test is needed to ensure the safety of the employee, especially when it comes to their physical health. There's different types of ability tests. The first one is the cognitive ability test. It is said that cognitive ability test is the best predictor of a job performance because it has high predictive validity unlike any other test. This ability test is important because most of the time daw na may mga mataas na score sa test na to is usually sila yung mga nakatapos ng training, sila yung mga fast learner, and they can easily adapt sa work environment. And also, yung cognitive ability test can predict the future job performance or how well an employee will perform in the long run. Next one is the perceptual ability test. It is needed to test our spatial visualization skill or how we view things, whether it's two or three dimensional. It tests our vision kung far or near sighted yung isang tao. Or tinatas din ito yung, yung speech and also our hearing sensitivity. It is also important, especially sa mga job na you need to have sharp eyes like sa mga job na related sa pag-operate ng mga makina wherein you have to have good vision to be constantly aware para maiwas yung mga possible danger. Next one is the psychomotor ability test. From the word itself, motor, which means physical movement, and psycho, which is related to our cognitive functions. So it measures the coordination between our body and mind. So it focuses on the dexterity or ang galing ng isang tao. Like for example, carpenter, magaling siya mag-company ng mga kung anak-anak. Nagagawa niya yun because it's directed by his mind and na-execute niya yun through his hands. Same as policemen, the way they shoot their gun, it requires focus and right accuracy. For the last one, which is physical ability test, it is needed to measure the physical capacity of the job candidate in doing certain jobs. Like what I said earlier, that ability test is needed to ensure the safety of an individual. Dito papasok yun. For example, with the use of physical ability test, they would know the capacity or kung hanggang saan lang kaya ng job candidate yung ipapagawa. Kasi there's a job that requires to have a strong stamina like being a lifeguard or being a firefighter. It's important kasi there's people's life at risk. Kasi what if you end up being saved? than you saving someone. So physical ability test is really important to conduct, especially in the field where you have responsibility to save someone's life. So to further understand the different tests, each one will be explained thoroughly. So dito, minimeasure natin yung cognitive skills ng applicant, like spatial reasoning, verbal reasoning, reading comprehension, problem solving, attention to detail, critical thinking, tsaka numerical reasoning. Under ni cognitive ability test, meron tayong five examples, si Wonder League personal test, Miller analogies test, the quick test, Raven progressive matrices, at saka si Shena reasoning test. There's also one test na related sa cognitive ability na tinatawag natin na situational judgment test. So, dito sa test na to, merong series of situations and ina-ask yung applicant or yung individual kung ano yung possible na response niya or paano niya i-handle yung situation na yun. Yung mga binibigay naman ng situation dito, uh, nakocover niya yung topic like leadership, interpersonal skills, 
personality tendencies, teamwork, and job knowledge. So, related pa din siya sa work. Tapos, may kita doon kung paano nila ihahandle yung ganong situation if ever na ma-encounter nila yon. So, this is an example of a cognitive ability test, which is the Wonderlic Personal Test. So, sinasagutan natin si Wonderlic Personal Test for 12 minutes. Meron siyang 50 items. One point per question. Tapos, kailangan ang score or ang passing score dito is 20. Para, kasi ang 20 nagre-represent siya ng average intelligence. So, perceptual ability test naman. Meron 90 questions. Binubuo siya ng 6 subtests with 15 questions on each one. Yung mga subtests na yun ay si key, yung apertures, yung mga keyholes, view recognition, yung top front end, tapos si angle discrimination, yung mga angle ranking, tapos paper folding, yung may hole punches, tapos cube counting, and si 3D form development. Ito yung pattern folding. So, itong picture na nakalagay, example siya ng pattern folding, tapos flat pattern yung presented, tapos i-identify kung ano na yung magiging itsura niya kapag finold siya into a 3D figure. Sa psychomotor test, minimeasure natin yung human dexterity and reaction times nila. So, hindi lang din siya ginagamit pang check ng effectiveness niya sa pag-perform ng various mechanical tasks, but also his or her ability to process and follow instructions. Ang mga nagtitake ng test na to is mga carpenter, police officer, sewing machine operator, uh, post office clerk, truck driver, and even yung mga training training pilot, nagtitake din sila nito para makita yung reaction times, coordination, and multitasking abilities nila. Minsan sa test na to, nag include sila ng tweezer dexterity test, um, matching color pegboard, or yung mga small parts na kailangan mabilis ma-assemble, ganun. Minsan, yung mga gumagawa din nito is yung mga gustong maging surgeon. To make it short, si psychomotor test, ine-evaluate niya yung manual abilities ng isang individual. Um, ginagamit talaga to si psychomotor test to screen employees, especially dun sa mga job na nagre-rely sa fine motor skills and coordinated sa mga fingers, hands, and arms. So, very useful talaga siya. Si physical ability naman, measured siya in two ways, job simulation and physical agility test. Sa so job simulation naman, nag-i-involve siya ng real activities na possible na gawin ng work nila and kailangan mapakita yung real life skills and abilities na required dun sa role na yon Like for example, sa mga firefighter, kailangan marunong sila umakit ng hagdan, kailangan mabuhat nila yung walls, kailangan mabilis sila umaksyon. Ayun, ganun din sa mga police applicants, kailangan marunong sila bumarel, humabol sa suspect, or sa mga lifeguard applicants, syempre hindi naman pwede na hindi ka marunong lumangoy tapos lifeguard ka. So, kaya mahalaga din talaga yung job simulation eh. Kailangan makita yung skills and ability ng isang tao before ilagay siya dun sa role na yun. Sa physical agility test naman, usually ginagamit siya sa police department para i-measure yung strength and endurance ng isang individual. Dito po mapasok yung mga sit-ups, push-ups, um, 300 meter sprint, uh, 1.5 mile run, tapos yung mga vertical jump, weight carry, stationary bike, ladder climb. So, very physical talaga yung dito sa physical agility test kasi kailangan makita if, yun nga, katulad ng sinabi ko kanina, kailangan makita if physically ready ba yung isang individual para doon sa trabaho na ina niya. So, some of the tests are given and explained earlier which is the test that measures the physical ability, cognitive ability, and other test that measures different type of abilities. So there are three different self-report assessment formats that is being used. The first one is simply listing the abilities with the, with the direction to indicate those areas that you feel you can perform best. So the second one is Likert skill in which through applying Likert skill in a group of designated abilities as for example you would rate your ability in terms of leadership whether it is excellent, above average, average, below average, or poor. Lastly, for providing different examples on how the ability could be applied in real-life situations in which individuals would rate their performances level from high to low and this will be summed up to obtain the total score. 
So it is believed that the current use of self-assessment methodology taps more ability areas than existing ability or the use of aptitude tests cover and enhances self-discovery and awareness. So this concludes our report about predicting performance using applicant's ability. Thank you for listening.